with Aero Yoga. My name is Rachel. Thanks for joining me. Um, first, I want to make sure no one has any issues with doing Aero Yoga. If you are pregnant, had glaucoma, had any surgeries recently, low blood pressure, high blood pressure, vertigo or dizziness, osteoporosis or carpal tunnel syndrome, or any bone weakness at all, um, please do not do this class. Um, and if you are healthy, do everything at your own risk and you are in control of your body, if at any time you need to stop, I will show you a few um, poses to just relax in if you need a little break. The first would be a star watcher. So you're gonna take the hammock and you're gonna put it right under your shoulder blades and you're gonna lean back. And as you lean back, step forward and move your arms up. And here you can just either hold on or put your arms behind your head and you can go from side to side and as you go side to side if you go to your left you bend your left night knee keep your right knee straight if you go to the right you know bend your right knee keep your left knee straight and then to get out you pull on to the sides and then pull yourself up and another one to relax the recovery pose would be shake your hammock out your thumbs in, holding down on, on the sides of your hips. Go on your tiptoes, and then just sit your butt in. Put your arms behind the hammock, always keep them behind. And then you can hang down in the floating child pose. And you can do those anytime during the class. Uh, I like to start the class with um, a few minutes of breathing. And if you wanna sit down in, underneath your hammock, um, I'm going to do alternate nostril breathing, and that is just great for your overall health. It's good for your mind and body connection and both sides of your brain. Um, what you're going to do is take your first two fingers and bend them, and take your thumb on one nostril and your ring finger on the other. So you're going to close the right nostril and breathe in through your right nostril for two seconds, and then we're going to hold it for five seconds, and then you're going to put your ring finger on the other side, close that, and then breathe out to the right nostril for eight seconds. So we're gonna go one, two, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, other finger, breathe out through your right nostril, eight seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then we'll breathe in through that nostril that you just breathed out of for two. Hold it for five. Switch fingers and breathe out for eight. And then continue. Breathe in. Hold it. Four, five. Switch fingers and out. Breathe in, hold it, and then out. We'll do one more time. Breathe in, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, and out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel good. Okay. Now we're gonna start by laying on the mat. Oh, I think I'll go this way. You're gonna be starting sitting under the plumb line, which is right under the hammock. Lay down on your back. And you're gonna put your feet in the hammock, and you're gonna put them slightly out, like duck feet. All right, and then we're gonna take an inhale in and raise, or you're gonna put your hands down on the ground palms face down. Take a big deep breath in and raise your hips up to the sky, one vertebrae at a time. Pushing down on your ankles and your hands. This is great for strengthening the back. You can exhale while opening the chest. Inhale. 
then exhale, we're gonna go down, one vertebrae at a time. Start from up, down. When the tailbone hits, completely release your glutes. I'm gonna go up one more time. Inhale. Hips to the sky. Exhale. Inhale. Each vertebrae. Okay, we're going to go up, and then when we go up, we're going to go into the frog pose. So inhale up. We're really tightening your core, hips to the sky, and then exhale. Inhale, we're going to spread our feet out, bring our knees outward, and pull them towards our bodies. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring the knees out. Exhale, push them forward, straight. Inhale, towards you, your body. Exhale, bring them straight. One more inhale. And then exhale, dropping your tailbone back to the ground slowly. Completely relax, give your legs a little wiggle. All right, now you take your legs out of the hammock. We're gonna stay on the ground and do a plank. So for that, you're gonna wanna put your hands on the ground, fingers away, pointed away from your face. You're gonna make, make sure your, uh, your shoulders line up with your elbows and your elbows line up with your wrists. You're gonna put one foot one foot in the hammock, and then when your hands are grounded, pick up your other ankle and put it in the hammock. And you're going to put a lot of pressure on the silk. You're going to use your core here, and it's very good for your arms and your wrists. From here, you're going to bring your knee, or keep your legs straight. Bring your hip up to the sky, and this is pike. And then put it back in a plank. And then you're gonna put one foot down on the ground. And then bring your other one up. And then slowly stand up. All right. Now we're gonna do some inversions. I'm gonna do the frog pose. Ooh, okay. Inverted frog. I'm gonna start, I'll do it this way so you guys can see. So we're going to take our hands, you're going to stand in front of the hammock, keep your hands to your side, and you don't want it too high on your back or on your, on your butt, you want it right like where your pants sit on your hips. And you put your hands a little farther than your hips, you're going to lean back, as you lean back, walk your legs out forward, and as you drop down, move your arms, hands up. And always make sure your legs go out wide. And then you can hook them on the hammock. Your legs will always be outside of the hammock and then tuck your toes around. You can put your hands out to the side, palms open wide. Completely relax, feel your spine elongating. This is so many benefits. It's great for your brain, get fresh blood. It lengthens your back. It's rid of so many back and neck issues. You can move your head from the side to side and a yes and a no. You can do a no. You can move up and down and do a yes. Just really take it a while and feel how good that feels. You can also Another option to put your hands in prayer on your chest. All right, and from here we're going to do a hand, inverted handstand. So you're going to look down and put your, your palms right under your shoulders. And we're going to lift, push off of our hands. And at the same time, we're going to kick up with our feet. And we're going to want to make sure our toes are pointing inward to really put our, use our core. 
Yes, also build strength in her wrists and her shoulders, along with using her legs to push up. Okay, in, in, and out, and then relax your arms and slide your legs back down into the frog pose. Okay, now we're, to get out of an aversion, we're gonna tuck our chin into our chest, look up, grab our hands here, our legs back out wide, and come down. And now here we're gonna go into a recovery pose, star watcher. Again, we're gonna put the, the fabric on below our shoulder blades, and we're gonna go swing side to side. This helps us, us from getting dizzy, from the blood flow back into our whole body. Go to the left side, bend our left leg. Right side, right leg. Okay, so we're gonna hold on to the fabric and pull ourselves up. All right. Okay, now we're gonna do a hamstring stretch with the fabric in front of you, stand right under the plumb line, and you're going to put your, we'll start with our right, you can put your right ankle into the fabric, left foot pointed forward. We're going to take our hands and press the fabric, really gives our hamstrings a nice big stretch. Also great for the balance for your left leg. You can really feel it in your quads and your glutes. Do some nice big breaths here. Okay. All right, you can release that. And we're going to now we're going to put our left foot parallel with the mat, so it's pointed away. You're going to face the way your toe is pointed. And now this is an abductor stretch. And you can take your right hand, whichever hand is closest to the leg in the hammock, and go towards your ankle. Other left arm reach above, and this gives a really good stretch. And you can press out. Hold it. Make sure you're breathing the entire time. And always, when we're doing these stretches for hamstrings, you always want to flex your foot, protects your knee. Always want to keep it flexed. Okay, release that. Now, we're going to take the right hand and put it on the other hammock, or the other side of the hammock. So, with your thumbs facing down this way, drop your knee down. Take your other hand behind you, grab the other side of the fabric, and we'll hop. And we're gonna do the dancer's pose. So here you're going to balance on your left foot. While look down, try to find a, a point to look at. It helps with the balance. And then pushing into the fabric with your ankle. And then bringing that knee out. This is great for strengthening your leg and great for opening your shoulders. All right. So then we're going to bring our foot back down, keep it inside the hammock. Okay, now find your balance. Now we're going to do a crescent lunge. So we're going to lunge with our left foot, keeping your right foot in the hammock at all at this time. So we're gonna just keep, your, this is great for your balance. And you're gonna go down and do a lunge and your foot in the hammock is gonna go back. You can go prayer pose and just really breathe here. Really focus. You can stare at something, a focal, focal point. This is, makes your glutes strong. Sure you're breathing and come up. Exhale. Okay. 
Now we do the other side. I think I'm gonna, I'll stand on this side first. This side, so we're gonna do the left side here. Put it in to the hammock. Foot, right foot pointed forward. Make sure you flex your toes. Flex your foot, protect your knee again. Actually, I'm gonna hop up here. Make sure you're under the plumb line for this. All right, flexed foot, pushing away with your arms. Good night breaths, really feel that hamstring stretch. It's great for your digestion also. Okay, come down. Turn your right foot parallel to the mat. Face so where your toes are facing, keeping that foot flexed, that's the other hand. Put your arm closest to that leg, down by your ankle around the, the fabric. Bring your right arm up and over, grabbing onto the fabric, and you stretch. Take your left foot, or sorry, left hand, put it back, thumbs down, drop your knee. Other hand, thumbs down to other side of the hammock. Do a hop. And once again, really balance on that right foot, pushing through to your, with your ankle against the fabric. And pushing away with your knee into the fabric. Alright, release. Keeping your, your ankle in the fabric, we're going to do another crescent lunge. Alright, when you find your balance, go down, prayer pose. Knees. Come up. Hold on to the fabric. Drop your knees out. You can shake your ankles out a bit. Okay. All right. We're gonna do a shavasana now. We're gonna. This is the best part. All right. You're gonna make sure your fabric is all the way open there. Stand in front of it, your thumbs in the fabric, holding down, bunch it up a few times in your hands. Tiptoes, sit in the fabric. All right, then I'm gonna have you lay down, lay back, make sure it goes in your head, lay back. Kick your feet, you're all the way inside the fabric. You can put your arms across your chest to your side or you can put them out like, oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, and while you're laying, just lay there. Here, I'll do this way so you can see my hands. Oh. Right. I really enjoy putting them over my head in prayer. Now we'll just relax and enjoy all those good feelings from doing yoga. Just, relax, just breathe effortlessly, float effortlessly. I just want you to make sure your top of your head just completely relaxing. Relax your forehead, your eyes, your jaw your mouth, relax your neck and your shoulders, relax your upper back, your chest, your arms, your hands, your fingers, relax your lower back and your abdomen, 
relax your glutes, relax your thighs and your calves, and relax your feet, your whole body's relaxed. Stay here as long as you'd like. When you're ready to come up, put your legs out of the fabric, bring your arms up, pull up, and before you stand up, make sure you put your arms behind you, and we'll do the floating child pose. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you had a great time. Namaste.